Welcome to Fact Club 24-7, my name is Johnny Rashman. Right, let's get straight into it. Francis Nagano released some training footage last night with Mike Tyson in the lead-up to his fight with Tyson Fury. Right, if you all follow me, you'll understand my thoughts on this. It's not hate on Nagano, right? I'm glad he's getting paid, he's got a great story, I'm happy for him. But at the end of the day, if you're going to sell me something, and you're going to tell me this is a proper fight, and it's going to be exciting, and he's the baddest man on the planet, then I'm going to tell you the truth, and that's why you follow me, right? It's no disrespect to people, but I'm going to be completely honest. The fight is a complete farce. It's a complete farce. Now, it is designed for casual boxing fans, right? Non-hardcore fans. And there's more non-hardcore boxing fans than there is boxing fans, right? That's the problem. So I'm getting a lot of comments of people saying, well, Wilder knocked Fury down. Wilder's technically bad and he's the worst heavyweight champion of all time. Now, granted, technically Deontay Wilder isn't great. And I used to be that guy who said he's absolutely awful. He's probably the worst heavyweight champion that's ever been. He, he didn't fight someone with a pulse for 39 fights. But to be honest with you, a friend of mine from Ireland, Tony Brown, pro boxer himself, had this discussion with me and he was like, listen, the guy can knock you out. He knows how to set his punches up, right? And he knocks you out and he's dangerous from the first minute to the last. And he's right. The difference between Garner and Wilder is Wilder is an Olympic caliber boxer, right? Okay, no one is saying he's a Muhammad Ali, technically, right? But he knows how to deliver the death shot, right? Francis Garner can't. He's going to plod forward. He's going to look slow. The hands will come down after a few rounds. He's not fought for two years. He's coming off a bad knee surgery, Um this tape on his shoulders, he, he he looks like he he looks like he should be in a knacker's yard. You know what I mean? He looks tired. You know he's had a lot of fights. He's not going to be able to set that punch up against a world heavyweight champion boxer. He wouldn't set it up against a British or English level fighter. He's not a boxer. You can't just. Go and fight the best fighter in the world and think you can win, and that's not factoring in the rounds. Right? He's not he's never done a pro boxing fight before and he's all of a sudden he's gonna complete ten rounds. Come on. But let's go through the footage, right? So you can see Mike Tyson him showing him to throw the right hand to the body and Tyson looks faster, to be honest. And you can see him he, he looks slow. He looks a bit all over the place. Now granted he's probably done a big media workout. I don't know, maybe he's done a circuit training before, a circuit session before, I don't know. But he looks tired already. I mean, those right hands are telegraphed. Tyson Fury's going to see that coming a mile away. And that's not factoring in the fact that Tyson Fury is going to be leaning all over him. That's what he does. He will lean and breathe all over him, then ram the jab down him. What's he going to be like then? He's going to be even more tired. So people thinking this is a competitive fight. It's not. Right, and sometimes I might get harsh with a few people on social media. It's never any disrespect, right? But I'm I'm going to be honest with you, right? And you're only going to learn about the game if you listen. Now, I'm not saying I'm a complete expert, right? But I can tell when someone has never been in a boxing ring before or is confused by the levels, and that's not me having a go, right? I have all types of people commenting on my. Uh, social media, whether it's the biggest promoter in the world, whether it's people with big followings, whether it's ex-world champions, whether it's world title contenders, whether it's a guy who's never watched boxing before, whether it's a hardcore boxing fan. I have a multitude of people across my various social channels who comment on my stuff, right? So I, I'm just as interested in as a person who's never watched boxing before, in their opinion, as I am with a world champion, right? Because I'll debate with you. And I'm going to be honest, this just isn't a fight. And when you're saying, well, it, Deontay Wilder's got power, he punches hard, he's the hardest puncher in the world. Well, my mate from the pub can punch hard. Doesn't mean he can beat the heavyweight champion of the world. Now, granted, he's not a UFC champion, but at the end of the day, this isn't MMA, it's boxing. If the roles were reversed and it was MMA, I would say the same thing. Tyson Fury hasn't got a chance. He'd get taken down and smashed to pieces. It's the same thing. And if we look at the right hand... You know, yes, it's powerful, but it's telegraphed. There's no speed to that. You know, you think, you think you're going to land that on Tyson Fury, one of the most elusive heavyweights of all time? Come on. Come on. You know, he's just not going to get his feet in position to land the punch. He telegraphs his right hand. You know, Mike Tyson being there, yeah, great. You know, it's great having Mike Tyson there. And what he doesn't know about boxing is not worth knowing about. But it's a gimmick. You can't teach someone... 
new skills in a matter of weeks to have any effect against a world heavyweight champion. It's just not going to happen. And if you compare it to Wilder's right hand, look at the footage. You think you're away? That's it. You think you're far away? You think you're away? It's fast, it's explosive, it's dynamic, it's completely different. Francis isn't a boxer, right? So my opinion is, as it's always been, is Tyson Fury will do what he wants in this fight. I think I don't think he will take him out in the first few rounds because people have paid a lot of money, you know. I think he will just lean on him, throw a few jabs, go to the body, bust him up a little bit. And then I think he might have to take him on later on because it'll, it'll just look that bad and slow. He's going to have to finish him, right? And if he doesn't, it's because he's not finished him on purpose. But Francis Nagano hasn't got any chance whatsoever of winning this fight. I get it's a big event. I'm going to watch it. I'm not disputing this, right? But as a competitive boxing match goes, which is what we're being sold on, that it is... It's not competitive whatsoever. The, you've got one person who's not a boxer having his first pro boxing match, match against an undefeated heavyweight world champion, one of the best heavyweights of all time. Do you know what I mean? That's the reality of it. I'm going to bring a special guest in and he's going to give his opinion on this. Meet Floyd. If you follow me on social media, you would have seen a little fella. Tell me what you think about uh, this fight, Floyd. Yep. Yeah. A load of nonsense, yeah. Hype. Garbage fight. It's not competitive at all. That's what he thinks. That is what the little man thinks. And he's right. He's absolutely right. He's right. It's not competitive in the slightest. It's an absolute farce of a fight. But I will be tuning in. But what else do you want me to say on it? That's the reality of the situation. Right, let me know what you think. Do you agree with my assessment on this? Do you think Francis Agarno has a chance of winning? Like, comment, subscribe, let me know.